Hi, hello. Welcome to a new video. Here I would like to mention this article about um, clinically important difference of the repeatable battery of the for the assessment of neuropsychological status for patients with Parkinson's disease undergoing deep brain stimulation. So it is important to assess reliable change and uh, it's well it's known that um, Parkinson is related to some cognitive change, cognitive deterioration and deep brain stimulation is one of the common treatment method um, in Parkinson disease. So here they, they define Parkinson. The symptoms are debilitating and become unsatisfactorily treated by medication, obviously. Deep brain stimulation is an effective treatment to significantly reduce the cardinal motor symptoms. So that is used to motor symptoms. It's, and I don't know, it might have effect on <clears throat> also cognitive skills. It's also unclear. And also tardive dyskinesia patients can be treated by deep brain stimulation, but I think it's more common in Parkinson patients. However, the neuropsychological effects of this treatment are less clear, and uh, that, that mentioned the scale, cognitive scale used, and then compared to, and so, and this is the, uh, although preliminary, these uh, provide clinicians and researchers a foundational tool for assessing the effect of interventions independent of the effects of PD and measurement error when using the, the scale. The scale is um, maybe more uh, reliable and it gives you information about um, it gives you information about some cognitive skills like delayed memory uh, and uh, you can pre and post check the pre and post test to che uh, check the progress and there are some uh, there are some values important to, and then it indicates that the change is clinically significant. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I wish you'll like the way that I present the article and wish you have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.